Wise punters persist in taking up early positions, but nothing will hurry up, milady, when there are fashions to be shown. Millinery, frocks, accessories and furs worth a king's ransom on parade. A popular shade is royal tan, of course. There may be some scratchings if a carbon copy frock turns up, but it takes a morning suit and grey topper to make a dashing bow with Flemington's stylish crowd, including General Sir Thomas Blamey. Victoria's new governor, Sir Dallas Brooks, is greeted on arrival by Mr. Turnbull, president of the Victorian Racing Club. His Excellency then introduces Lady Brooks and their daughter. By Cup Day, accidents and disappointing form have reduced the field to 31, and the best jockeys and the best stayers in Australia are ready to go to the post. Two grueling miles, but a rich reward. They're at the post. The starter hits the lever, and they're off. Better Law and Dashing Bow get away well on the rails and persist nine horses out from the rails is also prominent. But watch Comic Court number two make a great run from the outside marble, followed by the white bandage, four legs and bridle of Bruin as they race across to dispute the lead. And before they've gone a furlong, Comic Court has joined the lead and there's only two horses out from the rails. Racing on the course proper, Bitter Law loses his position on the rails, and then Fox Army number five has gone to the front, passing the dark colors of Hoyle and the diamonds of Comic Court in third place with the white feet of Bruin flashing on the outside. Head on as they approach the half mile, it's still Bruin in front from Hoyle, and that white blaze in Sunderick, who is being rapidly overhauled by Saxony. Bruin is still clear by two lengths from Hoyle and Fox Army, then Sunderick, Saxony, Comic Court, and Persist. But Fox Army comes out from the rails to commence his winning run. Rounding the turn into the straight, Bruin, the only father in the field, is making a daddy of a run and looks like stealing the race from Hoyle and Fox Army. Playboy is next on the rails, then Stamen with Benvolo on the outside. Inside the two furlongs, Hoyle is dashing to the front with Fox Army in close attendance on the outside, but going the better. Furlong from home, Hoyle is headed off by Fox Army, and then it's all over as the Sydney horse dashes away to win by a length and a half from Hoyle, with Ben Volo just coming into the picture to take third place from Bruin and nearly catch Hoyle on the post. Fox Army, Hoyle, Ben Volo, Bruin. Sydney jockeys ride all three place getters, and for Billy Fellows on Fox Army, it's a great thrill. A win in his first Melbourne Cup. New Zealand Red Fox Army is well backed at 16 to 1, not to mention the stake and the gold cup presented by Governor Sir Dallas Brooks to owner Robinson.